Whiskey and chocolate go so well together, so we've combined them to create the chocolate whiskey pecan pie. So we're gonna start off by creating a pecan base for our pie. I've just got a 22 centimeter springform pan, which I've greased and lined. Pecans or pecans, and I wanna blitz them to kind of create like a pecan meal, but don't go too crazy because you'll actually create a pecan butter if you go too far. So just pulse it until it's finely chopped. And so you'll see, it's just like bits of crumbs. So you want it quite fine, but any finer than that, you can actually start creating a paste. Then we'll just go in with some plain flour, some butter, and some caster sugar. And now we're just gonna pulse that again. And so all that butter is combined and really finely chopped. And then we'll just add our egg. Essentially, this is a pecan short crust. So it's all come together and just go straight into your pan. About a third of it along the bottom, using your fingers. And you want the pastry to be quite thin. So then start to spread it along the sides and then get the rest of it and just start up the sides. And then just get a small spatula and just start to even it all out. So you could use the back of a spoon, but these are just so much easier. And you wanna go about four and a half centimeters deep down the sides. And now I'm gonna put this in the freezer for 10 minutes just to firm up, and that way we can trim the top just to make it all flat. And he's back in the game. Okay, so I've got this out of the freezer, it's nice and firm, but I'm just gonna use my spatula to just trim the top a bit and just flatten it. Now just get a fork, prick the base a few times just to avoid it from puffing up. And the beauty of this recipe is you don't have to blind bake it, so we're just gonna go straight into the oven um, for about 25 minutes, or 20 minutes until it's nice and golden and firm, and then we'll cool that slightly. So while the crust is in the oven, we'll get onto the chocolate mixture. So I've got 500 mils of cream, and we're just gonna bring that to a boil. While that's heating up, we can chop our chocolates, and we'll just finely chop that and get it into a bowl. The milk chocolate's gonna kinda give it its sweetness, and the dark chocolate's just really nice and slightly bitter. Just goes really well with the whiskey. So just get that all into a heat proof bowl. And then to that chocolate, I'm gonna add our whiskey. Okay, so that cream is just below boil, so I'm gonna remove it from the heat. Chop chocolate, pour it straight over. And resist the temptation to stir that now. Just let that settle for a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna beat it together and then add our eggs, and that's our mixture done for the pie. Okay, so while that's melting, uh, I'm gonna crack my eggs. So I've got three eggs here. So that mixture's all come together. Make sure every piece is melted. So those three eggs, get them in and stir that through. So we'll just now set that aside until our tart base is done. We can pour that in. Okay, so our base is done, nice and crisp. You can see it's nice and golden around the edges. I'm just gonna let that cool for about five minutes before I pour that in. Five minutes have passed. We can just get our mixture and pour straight into that base. Just give it a light tap to get rid of some of those bubbles and we're just gonna get that back into the oven for about 45 minutes, but I've turned it down to 140, so it's a lot lower and gentler when it cooks, and it'll be done. There's a slight wobble in the center, um, but otherwise it's set, and we'll just let that cool. And you can also pop it into the fridge and it'll help it set a bit quicker. But I'm just gonna get on to making our whiskey cream for the topping. I'm just gonna get some icing sugar, then I'm gonna go in with some cream and the whiskey. And now, if you have the energy, Beat it with your hand, otherwise get an electric mixer. And just whisk it until it's nice and thick. Okay, so the pie is completely cooled down. As I said, you can keep it in the fridge, but if you are serving it, make sure you take it out about an hour at least before, so it can soften a bit. And now just that whiskey cream on top. Only do this just before you're serving as well. Let's get that nice swirl through. And I've just got some extra beacons and chocolate. Scatter that all on the top. And there it is, whiskey chocolate pecan pie. Serve it with a tot of whiskey as well. I think you guys are gonna be pretty happy with that for pudding.